in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the fabulous new deco flower from the John Nextdoor collection, and along with the bracken leaves, which are being launched at the same time as they make a beautiful juxtaposition between this sort of art deco shell shape and the sort of natural um, waves and the drawing that you get in the leaves. So I'm going to start with the die plate, and this is one of my A6 die plates which means that everything you need cuts in one piece and it cuts onto a piece of A6 card, which is A4 cut into four rectangles. Now, as you can see, you've got two designs on the plate. So there's an awful lot packed on here. So you've actually got six solid flowers and six detailed flowers. So you can use them together to make yourself beautiful flowers. You can use them separately. You can layer them up. So there are lots and lots of different options you can make using this plate. So all I'm going to do to start with is just literally tape it down and then we'll just run it through our die cutting machine. Now, what I would do to do these flowers is I will actually make these in two colors. So I would run the plate through once in white and once in this beautiful teal or turquoise colour. Now, this is a very detailed die, so you may find to get the pieces out easier. You may want to use a piece of wax paper, but I would definitely recommend using a shim because this is one of the most detailed die plates I've ever done. And you want to make sure that you get the best out of it with a single cut. So I'm running this through my Kaleido. Sorry, I am doing this off camera but that's the best way sometimes. So I'm running this through my Kaleido, so it will fit through any of your A5 and A6 die cutting machines. See, one piece has already fallen out. So by using the shim, you'll see that we quite easily get all these little pieces out. So what you've actually got here is, I'll just get these out, is you've got this beautiful four petal, and it's like an art deco window or shell shape. So if I bring that up, you can see there you've got that beautiful shape and it has the solid to go behind it. So we'll take that one out. We'll just take these out. So again, we get six pieces. So you get one large, sort of one extra large, one large. You get two medium and two small, which means it works perfectly. It will give you six flowers. And if you cut that into two plates, you'll get six beautiful full flowers. So there I've got all of the plain pieces. I'm just going to pop out now all of the decorative pieces. So again, let's get these out. Now to save a little bit of time, I've already cut this in white. So I'm going to show you me putting it together with the white on top of the turquoise but as you can see the pieces fall out relatively easily and that's why I recommend shimming it and I'm using 240 GSM card. So I'm going to move those to one side to use for another project. I would be using them in this one but I've already prepared some and I'm going to grab the white pieces that we've made. So just grab the six white pieces. So cutting it twice will give me Again, one extra large, one large, two medium and two small pieces. So I'm simply going to take a spray box and turn these onto the reverse. And I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue to make sure they stick on top. You could use the Craft Artist glue glaze. You could use um, a flat glue. I would recommend not using a PVA or using a very light coating as again, it's quite thick. And I'm using 3M Craft now. So we'll just give those a little light spray. And then we simply take each size in turn and match it up to the petal. So you can see you get that beautiful colour coming through. So there's the extra large. We'll now do the large. And each flower has been made to be the same degree smaller. So I think each flower is five mil smaller than one previous so that they can be layered on top of each other. But it's very simple to do. But by doing it in two colours, you can make the most amuse amazing flowers. Um, and it just, I love the mix, the sort of juxtaposition between the different colours. So here we go. And then final one. So as you can see, two small, two medium, one large, one extra large. 
and they're all done. So I would repeat this and do the same with the teal colour on top of the white. So I'm just going to lay these flowers out just so it's easy for me to show you. So that's what happens when we put the white on the teal. And obviously we then have the teal section and we've cut white as well. So we get teal on white as well. So you basically get white on teal, teal on white and works beautifully. So all we would do to shape these is very simple. I take the flower and I would just curl that over my pokey tool or you could use a pencil or an edge of a pair of scissors and then fold each petal up to the center so again fold each petal out and fold them up to the center and then to pop those together i'll go with teal on white for the first one a little bit of glue on the back rotate it 90 degrees and pop it in the center, just like that. So really simple, easy and effective. And for the center, I'm going to use one of the new faceted sparkle gems from Craft Artist, because they're sized exactly to match. So we get that beautiful center and that color. Alternatively, you can do a fold. So you can fold each petal down, down, and again, once you folded them down, fold each petal into the middle. So I'm going to do the same on the white fold. You're just pinching them effectively. And then fold each one up. And because we did the last one, teal on white, this time I'm going to do white on teal. So take a little bit of the glue, rotate 90 degrees, press into the center. And again, I'll pop one of the smaller sparkle facet gems in the center. As you can see, and alternatively, we fold it down, we can fold up. So this time I'm going to fold up for each flower. So the same, do the same to the white and to the teal. And then fold each petal into the middle which gives that little bit of movement. And because the last one we did, just to make sure that's glued down properly, was white on teal. This time I will do teal on white. A Little bit of glue in, rotate 90 degrees, press it in the middle, give it a little bit of a wobble. And again, one of the sparkle gems in the center. So you can see there we've got three very simple different folds from using exactly the same technique. So I would do this to the rest of them, but obviously I've got a set that I've already made for speed. So we'll bring those in. So here we go. So I've made them all with the curl. So I've made six flowers and this is using an A5 piece of card, two pieces of A6. So what I would do next is cut all six of the bracken leaves, which I've done here. And you'll see that you've got these in different sizes going left and right. So it's a similar design. So you've got two going over to the right, four going over to the left in different sizes. Again, so you use them nicely. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm using the Craft Artist quick dry ink and this is in the teal which matches beautifully and one of the crafts two finger daubers take some ink on my dauber and just to add a little bit of color into here i'm just going to flick this along the edge what i love about the quick dry is you get that beautiful opacity of the um, pigment ink but it's quick drying it also wipes off and cleans off your hands very easily because it's not dye based so i would go ahead and do all six of those but obviously for speed on the video i've already done that so let's move those to one side and i will bring in six that i've done so what i thought i would do is i'm going to use the card the little easel card that we made on the decorations that we made on the video for this to show you how the box works I thought we would decorate this. So what I'm going to do is 
I've got my flowers, I've got my leaves, which are perfect. I've cut a sentiment. So I've stamped a sentiment from the John Next Door Inspiring Flag Sentiments. Dream as if you could live forever. Live as if you only have today. And I've put this on the same teal, this beautiful jeans colour and the white. So we've got our flag sentiment to sort of pop inside and our flowers can arrange. And I've also cut the finest flags in these. And all I'm going to do is just twist these around again. I'm using my pokey tool, but you could use a pencil. And they make the most perfect curls. They really do, which just add that little bit extra to your flowers. So again, I've got a couple here that I've made in teal, a couple in white of the longer and the shorter. And again, let's grab in a blue one. So I've got one of each colour. And I've done this from the John Next Door flags. And I've used the smallest die in two of those different size sets. So we've got our flag sentiments perfectly there. So it's just a case of arranging this to work. So I could say, well, actually, I'd like the sentiment on the bottom. No, I'm not sure I'd like that in there. So I'm using pin flare glue gel because it's nice and quick. It glues extremely well and it gives me that dimension. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put some on the back. And this gives me wriggle room. And I'm going to put a little bit on the side there and we're just going to pop our sentiment in. There we go. Perfect. OK, and then going to take some of my curls. And I really feel here that the white will work. And this is the benefit of having the box, because by having the box, Everything is covered, everything is coated and everything is supported and sort of hidden almost. So let's have a little teal one. So it's up to you how you want to arrange these. Let's put a little bit of glue gel on. And obviously you'll be a little bit neater perhaps than I'm being. But I just want to show how it works so well inside the box. That's what the box is for. It gives you that beautiful dimension without you having to worry. I think we're just going to go with a little blue one here. So again, I think there's enough there for me to be able to tuck that into there. And we'll add a little bit of glue gel into that one. There we go. So I've got those beautiful in there. And then again, I can just take my leaves. and start to add those in. So we're adding the leaves that match and keeping everything into the box as much as we possibly can. That makes it so much easier for posting. And it allows you to, the box idea allows you to be a lot freer and easier about how we actually, um, what decoration we do and how much dimension we add. Because you're not worrying about this being crushed in postage. So let's slide you into there. That's perfect. And I think all I'm going to need on here, perhaps, is one little flower just tucked in perfectly to there. I'm then going to echo that with one of the smaller ones. And I'm alternating colour. So here I've got teal on the top. So up here, I've got white on the top. And just again to copy it, another one of the leaves. And we'll tuck him in. Really, I should be using tweezers to get this right. But I just wanted to give you the idea and it does dry clear this. So got that beautiful arrangement there. I can then open that out. So I've got that beautifully staged. I'm going to take again one little leaf. And I want a little stopper. So we'll pop our little leaf there. And we'll take one of our large flowers, our largest flower. And we'll pop him in. So there I've got 
the stopper for my box. And we'll just echo that blue by tucking in a little curl, which will finish off there. So you can see there, we've got the most beautiful flowers that are working so well within our hexagon box and gives us something else to do. And of course, I've still got pieces left as I haven't used everything.